Let us salvage you, damn it. Yeah, that is a wonderful question. Who it hits. Hmm. Many people, the gun like pretty big. Our line of advance is perpendicular to the hall is coming down, so it'd have to be a pretty wide uh, spray of fire. Yeah, it's not a spray of fire. Blast. That is exactly what it is. Uh, order yourselves Ooh. accordingly. Geralt's, Geralt's at the front, obviously, because he was leading the pack. It was there that Romeo was leading up the back. Right, yes he was. Sorry, what now? Oh, uh, putting yourselves in the proper order. We'd already established Romeo was at the back, Geralt was at the front. I think two on each side around the captain. Well, Fantastic. All the more appropriate. The person who dealt the most damage to it is the target. <laughs> okay, who did the most damage? Oh, that would be the captain. Okay. What can I say? Captain Lee prerogative. Okay, how much armor does the captain have? All of it. All of the armor. Oh, here's a really good question. Who's wearing, wearing the, the uh, who's wearing the power armor we found? Is anyone wearing the power armor we found? No one, I see. Point of, like, yeah, I don't think we were sure it wouldn't eat you, so I think so, that's still back on the ship. It's only been a couple oh. days. You, you weren't at work very long. Uh, it enough. depends where it hits me. Between five and seven. Uh, between five and seven? Mm-hmm. These seven. Yeah, uh, no, you do not have that much armor. No, no seven. Yes, I do well in my body. Uh, not as far as right. this weapon is concerned. That's unfortunate. Do you, do you have dodge? I do have dodge. This would probably be a time for a dodge check. Is it actually a blast weapon, or was I wrong? It is, but only blast one. Hell yeah. Oh, okay, so we're fine then, because it's one meter. Yeah. L okay. The captain would be the only person who would get hit, and she is more than capable of dodging out of range. Okay, cool. I know, I, your captain's a badass. Captain needs to actually move, though, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes so. Yeah. so move Sorry? to... Basically, the blast would have been a, you know, one square radius around you with you as the center. Move somewhere outside that. Like that? Yes. Yeah, so now those plasma blasts seem a little more familiar as this massive plasma blast cannon rips through the air. You'd be smelling all sorts of burnt ozone if there was atmosphere to burn. And a big section of the deck is just ripped apart, bits and pieces of metal flying everywhere. Oh shit, that, this thing got a lot scarier because it might break void suits, right? It potentially could. Uh, you're not certain if the captain would still be composed of atoms if she had been standing there, though. Fair enough. Which brings us to Romeo with your jammed gun. Um, I'm going to grab one of the servo skulls because my gun is jammed. I mean, like I will give my jam gun to the closest tech priest and move to him if I need to and grab a servo skull. A servo skull? Yep. Roll weapon skill. Since you're both untrained, I'm just doing it as roll weapon skill. Okay, cool. Mm. 
that is over my weapon skill. Um, I, I'm, I'm re rolling it with fate points because whatever, I've got five still. Ooh, yo. Not a nine. Damn it. <laughs> Can't win them all. Your fourth fate Damn. point of the evening, and you finally lose a fate point. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, so you successfully grab the servo skull. It's trying to pull away, but you, you have the servo skull in hand. Cool. Um, I'm going to run over to, I don't know, I'm assuming somewhere here, like somewhere off screen for now. Okay. Um, to give the gun over to someone who can unjam it, and also someone who can actually do something with this servo skull. But I'll come into combat next round again. Right. Yeah, Okay. basically. Get I'm assuming you're like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you rolling to shoot. Can I... Is there a weak spot? Where did the captain shoot this thing? Uh, what was the captain's attack roll way back when? Do we know? I'll tell you in a second. 24? 24, okay. Okay, would you assume that there's a weak spot in the thing's armor? Right there? Uh... Right. It doesn't technically have armor in the classic sense. Mm. It's just that it's mostly a machine. Okay, well, so it doesn't matter where I shoot, shoot it then. So Not let's try it. It, it was a center mass shot for what it's worth. Ooh! Let's take a fate point and re-roll that attack roll. Fortunately, your weapon's reliable, so it probably wouldn't jam. Oh. Yeah, so your gun hasn't jammed, but you right. But you're down two bullets, and uh, that ah, one just did what? One more faint point. I got three. Can you keep oh, me rolling like that? All right, you know what? Now I got to roll not to jam, right? Yep. I think it only roll fate points for a thing once. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it, I couldn't recall if you could, could only do it once or not, but uh, yeah, if... Only doing it once, then yeah, you're not rolling to see if you jam. I will give you the only once thing. You wouldn't jam anyways, that's only nine. But okay, so... You can still move. Uh, where am I? I am right here. I'm going to move right here. Okay. And then, okay, we have three people with the exact same initiative. Denov, Thaddeus, Zephyr, what are your uh, agility bonuses? Three. Four. Captain? Captain also has four. Captain also has four? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's just go with the uh, initiative order from Thaddeus in that case. So, Thaddeus, Captain, Denov. Thaddeus, let's do it. Mm, half action to aim, and then shoot with the other one. These rolls are atrocious. You guys get crazy good rolls for every session until now, and now you're actually jamming your guns for the first time. Can I reroll that with a fate point? You can. Okay. That's yeah, well, I, I also made a perception check, so... Uh... The rolls are weird today. You guys are failing the shit you succeed on without even blinking, and are passing on shit you've never passed on. No, that still works normally. You have failed to drink in whore. I have a 19. I just wanted to see what had happened. <laughs> Carouse? What's Carouse based on? Toughness. Really? Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, how much bonuses do I have for shooting this uh, guy? Let's see. That's... 
uh, point blank, so that's plus 30, correct? Then you aimed, so plus 10, right? Yeah. It's 40. Don't know if you get bonuses for any other things. But that's enough. <laughs> that's enough? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that just means I get the extra 2d10. Are you using your bolt pistol or your long lance? Long lance. Okay. Okay, yeah, so do damage up for that guy. Another roll. Righteous Fury. Righteous Fury. Uh, with all the weird rolls, I was hoping this would be the time that comes up at 10. Oh, I'd love, I'd love that time to come up at 10. What's about the 33? Huh? 33 damage. Yeah, that is a lot of damage. And the penetration of... Doesn't matter. Okay. Well, it's one. Right. God, I need to switch over to a... Not a last gun. No, no, you're actually probably going to net more damage with the last gun just because, like, you don't shoot multiple bullets, so it only applies reduction once. With the bolt pistol, because of multiple bullets, he applies reduction multiple times. So yeah, total well, damage I, I, is I can get a normal better. sniper. Oh yeah, fair enough. Which has like more penetration? Spinner. Like a death spinner. Is that a uh, weapon? Mm -hmm. It's what is it? Sorry. Yeah, isn't that an Eldar weapon? Yep. Yeah, that's a that requires exotic weapon proficiency, I think. I yes, probably get that, but I'm not, I'm not using an Eldar weapon. God, you people on the left. The left side of people's bodies. <laughs> yeah, places legs, used to shoot left arms. Too. Oh wait, this is energy. That's a LAS weapon. It is indeed. Okay, yeah, so... Taking aim, you fire, the shot streaks through the thing, through the plasma cannon that's basically its left arm. Oh, please no. <laughs> it's gonna explode over I mean, yes, it explodes, but none of you are caught in the radius. That's right, then. But, so, the thing is largely incinerated, ash spewing back down the hallway away from you. Slowly, slowly falling, but by gravity. Well, or faster, I'm not sure. There's no air. I assume everything would fall at the same rate, because you're in a vacuum. Or not fall at all. There is gravity. Oh, fair enough. They're pretty the same, though. Yeah, if there was no gravity, this would be difficult to rain tests for everyone except you and Denev. Oh. I guess the question is which way is up? And relative and down relative to space. Uh the ship has grab plating. So oh, down, okay, so down the is the floor, up is the ceiling. Okay, cool. The bad thing is if you come across an area where the floor has been damaged and the grab plate might have been flipped over or shoved against the wall. But yeah, so that thing is basically incinerated, blows up, and goes spiraling back. What's left of it goes spiraling back against the ground and skids across the floor, smashes against the far wall. From the blast of its own cannon exploding. What do the skulls do? The two that have not been captured immediately start jetting off. Grab them skulls! Well, they have to pass by the uh, four other members of the group. People can try to grab a skull if they wish. You said okay. it was a uh, weapon skull? It was not too much effort. I prefer it to be agility. In this case, it's a post-weapon skill, because it's basically an <laughs> armed grapple. <laughs> 